I started taking art classes after I graduated from college. And, and it just got to be more and more addicting. Um, and, and it brought something, brought something more to my life than science couldn't do by itself. Um, when I was in high school, I wanted to be a journalist. I never thought I'd get into art. So I didn't get into art until my 30s, but I grew up with my mom doing art and my late brother. So I just took a drawing class to see if I could do anything other than a stick figure. And I just fell in love with it, so I haven't stopped since. I got married, I had kids, and I decided life is short, you need to do what you love. So I started taking classes and it just sort of built until I joined the studio and now I get to paint all the time. <laughs> I think you turn off, um, you turn off the talking. Um, as you get to be a little more involved in art, the, uh, the language part kind of turns off and you go to another place where you're just looking and, and thinking in, in uh, visual terms. If you can really get into what you're doing and there's no other distractions, and for me there's usually a lot of other distractions, um, it's almost like a, a staycation in your head. It's like you're just doing something and if I can get really in the zone, hours can pass by. And I don't even realize that many hours have passed by. You're responding to what's on your canvas or paper or whatever it is the artwork that you're doing. I'm very much interested in people. It's like I'm always studying faces. And um, so I work in pastel and oil. Um, so my main interest are painting people and painting animals. When I paint faces, not only do I try to get a likeness, but I'm like Valerie trying to get into the emotions of the sitter or the subject. I'm mostly a landscape painter. I do do portraiture, but mostly landscape, and it's kind of slice of life, so I'm, I'm just trying to evoke an emotion from people. Art speaks to us on a, in a different way and uses our brains in a different way. Mm -hmm. My group here, we work uh, fairly closely with some of the kids from the Boys and Girls Club. So for them, it's like, and for us too, it, it's, it's a release. They can come in from school or or from home and kind of forget the environment they live in and, and get their emotions out on paper or canvas. Um, I also think art is very important because I think a well-rounded individual is more than just book learning. I think they need culture, whether it be art or music. Um, and also I think art is very important because it's also a way to document what is happening. You know, a lot of artists paint what they feel, paint what they see, you know, whether it be political statements or, you know, just their emotional reactions to things. So I think that's kind of important documentation. I have two kids that are, they were always very good at math and science, but my older son is a musician and my younger son is going to school for industrial design, so he's sort of taken up the art world. So I'm glad that they're just well-rounded kind of kids, because I think we need that. I don't know what my life would be like without art in it, but it fills up my life. It's both my hobby and the thing that I care about. I teach music, but I also listen to music. It's just a part of what I do. It's sort of like asking a cook, what, how has food impacted your life? So it's both a, it's a combination of an expressive medium and a form of expertise. It's something that people can practice and get better at and gain proficiency at, but it's also a way that people can express themselves. So you've got this sort of different ways people can enjoy and participate in music, whether it's an aspect of mastery or just expression. As a young person, it's a way of experiencing culture and understanding the world. Art is often a, a shortcut for developing empathy and understanding for the culture you're in, the culture of others. Uh, music can really get tied into mathematics. Uh, I think there's art bleeds into pretty much every single science and study. 
Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything in the world that's not sort of touched by art and art movements. And so the more you understand about how facades of buildings and French arch architecture and Renaissance paintings go, the more you understand about how houses around you look, why that archway looks like it does, why that door looks like it does. You could just pick any subject and I think art's all over it. As a kid, I loved playing, and it's a way to keep on playing, you know? So that's, that's what's really cool about it, you know? In, in play, there's a bit of anarchy, and I, I love that. I love that you, you get to decide, you get to be king, you get to make all the important decisions, you know? <laughs> and you see what you come up with, and then you have a product, and it's either, uh, you know, like this, you know, it's sort of uh, playful. You know? And my mind rose over all sorts of stuff, you know what I mean? And I, especially like uh, doing the detail on the castle, it's very tedious, you know what I mean? And what happens is you, um, you sort of just get, you, it's almost a form of boredom, but it's, it's, it's a tedium that's pleasant. I want to remind them that we're all still children at heart. That, um, you know, that, you know, it's not really good to take yourself too seriously. You gotta play. You gotta have some fun, you know. So that's what this is all about, you know. We live the materialization of our grandfather's fantasies. We, we live inside what they thought up. And so now it's our turn to recreate reality. And so, Every person gets input on that. And art is a very direct way to say, this is what I want to put into reality. This is what I want to contribute. And so that's sort of a fun way to do it. It's playful. It's, it's, um, and then, you know, this will be around for a, a good 10, 15 years to bother people. <laughs> so, you know, you, you, there's, there's a lot of different sides to it, but the thing is to have some fun and to contribute and to uh, make an impact on how people see the world, you know? Art is strength. A journey. Imagination. Go. Individuality. Movie. <laughs> Expression. Woo! Passion. Beauty. <laughs>
vibrant. Acceptance. Evocative. Emotion. Zeal. Meditative. Individuality. Important. 